Okay. These days, the the most the most spoke uh, the most discussed topic these days is traffic jam. Is traffic jam. We live in Vietnam, and if we live in the city, lots of people, lots of people fight. Ho Chi Minh City, uh, lots of people fight. Ho Chi Minh City, a very busy place, a kind of place that people don't want to live, but we people have to live because they need to to go to work. They need to make money, and uh, if we are, if we are, if we want to work in companies. Offices, showrooms, famous stores, beautiful stores, restaurants. We need to come to Ho Chi Minh City. No places okay like Ho Chi Minh City. Okay, no places easy. Okay, no places are easy for you to make money like Ho Chi Minh City. That is why people come to Vietnam. Uh, people come to Ho Chi Minh City from all places from Vietnam. They live there, they work there, and they make a lot of money. That is、uh, how traffic jam happens. Lots of people live in one place. Lots of motorbikes are bought. Lots of cars are used. And every five p.m., people get out of their company. They go home. Every five p.m., students、uh, get out of school, come home. At the same time, at the same place, on the same street, traffic jam happens. We cannot do anything but just stand on the street with our motorbike or sit in the car for hours or for at least thirty minutes. That is traffic jam. So, okay, first of all, I want to I want to double check whether you understand me speaking or not. So first, okay, we have、uh, Robert and the team in the room. First,、uh, team, what do you think about the traffic jam in Ho Chi Minh City? Where do you live? And、uh, does traffic jam happen in your place, Tim? Hello, Tim. Hello, I can hear you, Tim. Something is wrong from Tim's side. You need to double check. You need to check.、Uh, you need to fix it. You need to fix it for yourself. I cannot help you, Tim. What about Robert? Robert, please speak up. Um, I think um traffic of my country is something wrong because um. Chilang Street is um、no. that traffic is okay. You say is, that is、um, what I what what is the name of the street that you are speaking of? Can you repeat the name of the street? Then can can you repeat the name of the street, Robert? Chilang Street. Oh, Chi Lang Fu, uh, Chi Lang Fu Street. Okay, so what do you usually do on Chi Lang Street? What do you What do you usually do on this street? Um, I usually go to things and junk homes. Oh, you usually come to uh, you usually go to things and junk homes. Okay, and uh, and uh, do you think tra uh, do you think there is a lot of traffic jam on Chilang Street? Is、yes, there? Yes, it's a、yeah. a lot of traffic. A a lot of traffic jam. You need to use one more word. Traffic jam, please. What time? What time? What time does the traffic jam happen on Chilang Street? Do you remember? Do you remember the time it happens on Chilang Street? What time does it happen? Forty or more. What I don't understand. Can you repeat the time? Um. The red light is forty second. Forty second. 
Light is 20 seconds. Oh, I don't understand. The red light or the green light. My question here is, what time okay, does traffic jam happen on Chilang Street? What time does it happen? What, what time does it happen, traffic jam? 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock in the afternoon or you are talking about, or you are speaking of the evening? Afternoon. Okay, that is 12 p.m. Yeah, so at 12 p.m., okay, lots of traffic jam happens. A uh, lot of traffic jam happens on the Chilang Street. And uh, what do you think about the traffic jam on Jilang Street? Very heavy, heavy traffic jam or light head traffic jam. Heavy traffic jam or light traffic jam. Heavy, heavy traffic jam. Okay. Uh, can can you show me your can you show me your situation? If you are in okay. Uh, if you are on the street in the middle of the traffic jam, what are you go? What uh, do you usually do? What do you usually do? If you are on the street, if you are on the street, and uh, there is a traffic jam, what do you usually do? You travel by car or you travel by motorbike. What do you do in your car or what do you do on your motorbike? I, um, I um, run yes. around and wait the traffic jam. You run around and you wait for the traffic jam. You said that you would run around, but you run around what? You run around your car or you, or you run around your motorbike or where? Where do you run around when there is traffic jam? That Robert. Um, I turn over. I turn over and I buy some snack or water to go to. Oh, uh, to go to where? Somewhere. Okay, very good. So, uh, Tim, you need to fix your make or you get another laptop or another computer or another iPod or you can borrow your sister's iPod laptop to study because without the make we cannot study together. So okay right now we are talking about travel jam. So what about Nam? Nam do you do uh Nam does traffic jam happen in your place? Does traffic jam happen in your in uh, in your place? Uh, I, I don't know Chambo Jam. Do you see the screen? Do you see the screen? The screen. Yeah, can you see the screen? Can you see the screen? Can you see the screen now? No. No. No, I can't. Oh, no. Ah, yes, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. I see. You see what? You see the screen and you see what? What do you see? What do you uh, see now? I, I, uh, I, I see uh, the the mean smart. The mind map. My map. Okay. Smart. Okay. So right now we are talking about travel jam. Please look at the mind map. You are very late. And uh, here, okay, here comes Sundar. Okay. So now, okay, let's talk about your place. Does traffic jam happen in your place? Does traffic jam happen in your place? Does it happen in your place? Traffic jam. Ah, uh, Um. I uh. I meet the the jam for jam. Uh, uh. When I uh go to a school with my mom. We don't use I meet. Can't. We don't use meet for traffic jam. Meet. Meeting. Meet is for people. Meet is meet for animals. People. But if you want to use the word uh, gap for okay, 
question of the situation, situation, the problem, difficulties, difficulties. We had a word like encounter. 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 <coughs> okay, so here, here, when do you encounter the traffic jam? And how do you feel about the traffic jam? Uh, I encounter uh, traffic jam um, when I uh, go to school with my mom. Yeah, you encounter the traffic jam when you go to school with your with your mom. Okay, what what time? What time does the traffic jam happen? And where uh, uh, where does it happen? And where does it happen? Uh, to from us. Uh, from uh, six o'clock to uh, to the to uh, six o'clock uh, at what six from six o'clock? Why well, I don't understand? Uh, you say that from six o'clock to six o'clock. What does it mean? From uh, six o'clock to I, six o'clock. I in I encounter I encounter Chef or Chem uh, when I go to school from. Uh, from uh, oh. from for or for for six o'clock. Oh, you uh, you you encounter traffic jam when when you go to school when when you go to school okay at six o'clock. So what about four? So what about four p.m.? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you said that uh, you 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 encounter the traffic jam. And I understand that, but on which street do you encounter the traffic jam? Do you remember the name of the street you encounter the traffic jam? I remember Jam for Jam. Um, the name of the street. Okay, so let's the uh, now you need to think before you speak. Let's talk with Dong Dog or Get Dog. Show me. The place where you always face traffic jam. Tim, can you hear me and can you speak? Okay, Tim cannot hear me and Tim cannot speak. So what about Robert? Uh, what, so sorry, what about Joseph? Right now we are talking about traffic jam. We have the word meet for people, the word encounter and face okay, for situation. Or difficulties, Rob uh, Joseph. Do you face traffic jam when you go to uh, when you go to school? Face. Do you face you traffic jam when you go to school? Do you face traffic jam when you go to school? Yes, I do. Uh, sometimes uh the my coach uh uh has traffic dream okay some sometimes my coach street has traffic jam and uh and why do you travel on this street why do you travel on my coach street why why do you travel on this street because uh, my coach is a my way to go to school. Okay, very good. And uh, what about Tim? Okay, Tim, right now, can you speak up? Because I, I want to double check your device. Okay, Tim, can I speak? So what about uh, what about Robert? Uh, do you do do you also travel on Marco Street just like Joseph Robert? Do you also travel on Marco Street just like Joseph Robert? Yes, but when I go to extra class with my mom. Oh, no, I understand. You only uh, you only travel on Marco Street when you 
when you go to the extra class with your mom. So what about going to school? Which street do you use to go to school? Which street do you um, use to go to school? Nguyễn Phúc Chu Street. To... Can you answer no? You need to. You need to give me a full sentence answer. I go to school on Nguyễn Phúc Chu Street. Okay, very good. So, what about going home? Which street do you use to go home? Which street do you use to go home? I go to home on Nguyễn Phúc Chu Street. Okay. Because my school near my house. Okay, because the school is near your house. Very good. Traffic jam. Traffic jam means a lot of cars, motorbikes, okay, are on the street and you cannot move your car, you cannot move your motorbike. You need to stand in one place. That is traffic jam. That is traffic jam. So okay, let's let's talk with uh, well, let's talk with Joseph. You show me the name of the street. Okay, you show me the street that you use to go to school, and uh, you need to you need to show me when when traffic jam happens on this street. What time traffic jam happens on your street, and what time does it stop on your street? Joseph, please. Can you repeat again? The second time. What time does the traffic jam happen on your street? Uh, in the morning uh, at 6 a.m. The Michael Street has traffic jam. And in the afternoon at 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., the Marco Street has traffic jam. Okay. And, uh, and uh, do you do, uh, what, what do you do when there is traffic jam? What do you do when there is traffic jam? Uh, What do you do when there is a jam? What? I find a way to go home fast. To find I find a way another to... way. Okay. Another way. What do you do to find a way? We have so many ways to. Uh, we have so many, so many ways to find information. So what? What also? So, what do you do to find a way to go home? What do you do? The driver. Uh, I will ask the driver for another way. Do we ask the driver for another way? Okay. So, yeah. what about uh, what about now? Do you have any ideas? Can you show me the name of the street that you that you know? Which which street do you use to go home, to go to school, or to go out with your friends? Show me now. Uh, yeah. Oh, I understand. Okay, thank you so much, Joseph. So, what about now? What about now? What about now? Yes. yes. Uh, what street did you use to go home, go to school, or go out? I guess. What street did you use to go home, go to school? Or go out. What street? What is the name uh, of the street? I go out. I go out uh, my house. Uh, to I uh, I uh, I uh. What street? Which street do you use to go to to go to school? What street do you use to go to school? 
what street do you use to go to school? Um, I uh, uh, I go to I go to school. Uh, I go to school. Uh, as uh, Wuklo Tamu Street. Uh, with my <coughs> with my dad. How long? How long do you? Uh, how, how how long? How long does it take you to go from your house to the school? How long does it take you to go from your house to the school? Fifteen uh, minutes. No, give me a full it, sentence. It takes me, okay? It takes me how long or to go how long to go from A to B? So how long? How long does it take you to go from your uh, house to the school? It it takes me uh I it takes me uh. Uh, fr five minutes to uh, go from uh, from uh, my my home to uh, my school. Okay, it takes you five minutes to go from your place to the school, and uh, and uh, if there is traffic jam, if there is traffic jam, how long do you have to wait for the traffic jam to uh, to to uh, to finish? How long do you have to wait for the traffic jam? To be over. How long? Uh, How long do you have to wait for the traffic jam to be over? How long? The traffic jam. Uh, um, <clears throat> yeah. What? Uh, I uh, I waiting. Uh, I waiting for the traffic jam. Uh, I wait. I waiting for the champion jam to uh to uh to uh, 30, 30 uh, minutes. Uh, you wait for the champion jam, not waiting. Uh, to to wait for the champion jam to uh to 30, 30 uh, minutes to okay, be wait uh, for, over. Okay, you wait for the champion jams for thirty minutes. Okay, to be over, for it to be over. So first, you use the word for for the time. How much time you use the word for? For, okay, I'm here. So I will wait for two hours for the traffic exam to be over. Okay, first we use the word for, and second we use for the traffic jam to be over. Very good. What about Joseph? If there is traffic jam on your street, how, okay, how long do you usually wait for it to be over? How long? Joseph. Okay, so Joseph doesn't, uh, cannot hear me, right? Uh, can you repeat again? I can if, hear. If, if there is traffic jam what? on your street, how long, how long do you have to wait for the traffic jam to be over? I can't remember, but I know I must wait a long time for it. Okay. And uh, what what would you do? What 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 would you what what would you do if your if your car runs out of gas? What would you do if your car runs out of gas? Run out uh, of. I will. What would you do if your car runs out of gas? Here, run out of something. Gas here, that is the gasoline. People use the word gas, okay, to 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 mention, okay, to to talk, uh, to mention gasoline, gasoline. So if your car runs out of gas, what will you do? What will you do? With yeah. Uh, I will find the. Uh, uh, a place that place give me gas and I will buy. Okay. The place where you get gas is called a petrol station. So is the petrol station near your house, Joseph? Is the petrol station near your house? Is it near your house? 
uh, is the petrol station near your house? Is it yeah. near your house? Uh, yes, there, there are two petrol stations near my house. Okay, so what about uh, Tim? Tim, can you speak up? If you go out and your car runs out of gas, what will you do? Imagine, what will you do? Show me. Tim, can you speak up? Hello. Oh, I cannot hear you, Tim. Your sound is very, is very small. It's too small for me to hear. Okay, when we are waiting for Tim, let's let's listen to Robert. Robert, what would you do if your car runs out of gas? Robert. Um. I will take my car. Oh no. I will take my motorbike to the car to the Oh we have the word like the petrol station. Petrol station is a place where you get gas for your motorbike, where you get gas for your car. So where where will you where will you take your car? Robert, where will you take I your will, car? I will take my car to the near petrol station. Yes, very good. You will take your car to the near petrol station. That's yeah, so all right. Now I'm going to turn off uh, the screen of uh, the brand map. You're going to see any kind of brand map on the, on the screen anymore. And uh, here, you just need to answer the questions you just need to speak okay yeah yeah we are talking about travel chance and uh, uh, you understand my questions very good for this board after we talk about travel chance I need to ask you guys about the kind of homework you receive from your school uh, first of all let, let's talk with Robert Robert how do you feel about homework from your Vietnamese school is it too much homework or just a lot of homework or just a little homework? How do you feel about your homework from school? Robert. Um, uh, school uh, in the teacher. Uh, school. Oh, the school, um, your Vietnamese school, your Vietnamese school. I think a lot of homework. Oh. Oh, I understand you say that there is a lot of home there is a lot of homework that you must that you must uh, do, that you must finish. Very good. If you don't have homework, how do you feel? Do you feel worried if you don't have homework or you or you feel very happy if you don't have homework? Robert, how do you feel when you don't have homework? How do you feel? What uh, you said that if you don't do homework, you have new things. You need to you need to show me more. What are the things that you have if you don't have homework? But okay, and uh, let let's talk with Joseph. Joseph, tell me about your feelings. Tell me you tell me about your feelings about homework from school. Vietnamese school. We are not talking about English. So how did you feel about your how did you feel about your okay about your homework at school? It's so hard and I don't want to do math homework. Oh, you don't want to do math homework? Why not? Yeah. Why not? Yes. Uh, I need to 
Mm. Yeah, you said that must homework or a uh, must homework is very hard. And what do you do? What do you do when when the must homework is so hard? What do you do when it is so hard? Um, I will ask my friend to solve it. Oh, you will ask your friends for help. You will ask your friends to help you, uh, to help you to solve the math problem. But after your friends help you, how do you how how do you understand the homework? After your friends help you, how do you understand the homework? Because you have to do the homework by yourself, so you can understand the homework. Yes. Because I just need uh, my friend have my one time and uh another homework I will do by myself. Oh, you you just need your friends help for one time, and other another homework you will do by yourself. Is it right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is what Joseph says. So what about Nam? Nam, how do you feel about your Vietnamese school homework? How how do you feel about um, what? Every day, my teacher will uh, will will uh, give my will will give uh, homework for me. Um, and uh, it's the uh, very hard. Uh, okay, so every day the teacher gives you homework and it is and it is very hard I understand very good what what would you do what what will you do when the homework is so hard like this what will you do when the homework is so hard? Um, I will, um, yes, what will you do? You will ask your friends for help, or you uh, will, or you will, I will, uh, yeah? I will ask my, um, my, uh, my teacher or my friends, uh, to, uh, to do homework. Oh. You will ask your teachers or your friends to do homework. If you say you ask your teachers to do homework, it means you will not do homework. You will give your homework to the teacher, and the teacher will do the homework for you. Do Do you understand? Do you understand now? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, do you yes. want to? So, do you want to give the homework or okay, get to the teacher? Because if you give the homework to the teacher, you ask the homework to do your to you ask your teacher to do your homework, it means you will not do your homework. The teacher will do the homework for you, for you. So do you? Uh, so do you want the teacher to do the homework for you, or you want the teacher to help you understand how to do the homework? Which way? Which way now? Uh, Which way do you want? I I uh I want to uh my teacher. Have me uh about uh, about uh, about max and uh and zero phrase. Okay, yeah, I understand. Yeah. I I understand what you say, but uh, I'm not asking about the subjects. I am not asking about the subjects that you need help from the teacher. Uh -huh. I'm asking about I'm asking about what you want from the teacher. You want the teacher to do the homework for you, or you want the teacher to help you understand how to do the homework. Which way now? Which way do you want from the teacher? Which way do you want? You want the teacher to do um, the homework I for want, you? I want to... Uh... I want to... I want to... My teacher have... Help me uh, understand, uh, and um, I uh, and uh, okay. 
first. Don't say I want to the teacher. I want the teacher to. You want somebody to do something. Okay, so so let let let's talk with Joseph. We have lots of homework. Homework from uh ho English homework, math homework, literature homework. Lots of subjects to study. So how do you feel about studying in Vietnam? Do you want to do you want to continue to study in Vietnam, or do you want to go to a foreign country for studying, Joseph? What do you want? I still want to study in, in Vietnam and I need to try a little bit so I can finish uh, my study. Yes, okay, very good. After you finish your study, what will you do? After you finish your study, what will you do? Uh, I will do something for relax. Oh, you you did something for for relaxing for verb in. Oh, when you answer in uh, when I you when you answer me, Joseph, you need to give me a specific answer. Don't say I will, I will okay do something for relaxing. You need to show me what do you exactly do for relaxing. Listen to music for relaxing. Watching cartoons for relaxing. Going out with friends for relaxing. We have so many ways for relaxing. You need to be specific. So, what do you do to relax? I will watch film or play game to relax. Okay, you will watch film or you will play games to relax. Very good. Where? Where do you watch film, Joseph? What do you watch film? What do you uh, watch film? I watch on Netflix. You watch on, on Netflix? YouTube. Okay, you watch on Netflix or on YouTube. Okay, and after you watch Netflix, what? Uh, yeah. Uh, you said that you watch Netflix, but uh, uh, my question here is: Do you have an account? Do you have a Netflix account? Do you have a Netflix account? Netflix. I still use uh, the Office uh, account. Oh, you still use the Office? Oh, uh, oh, okay. I got it. Oh, very cool. Yeah, Joseph uh, watches the uh, movies on Netflix. Uh, when you watch movie, do do you do you uh, do you read the subtitles on the movies, or you turn off the subtitles and you just watch the movies? What do you do, Joseph? Read the subtitles or turn off the subtitles? Uh, I, I read the subtitle. You read the subtitles. Um, are the subtitles Vietnamese or English? Both. Both. Oh, how can you turn on both subtitles? Oh, very weird because I've, uh -huh. I've never turned on. Yeah, what? Mm. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, something I will read English subtitle and something I will read uh, Vietnamese subtitle. Oh, I got it. Some movies, you will turn on mm. Vietnamese subtitles and some movies, for some movies, you will turn on English subtitles. Very good. Okay, so what about Robert? Robert, have you ever watched movies on Netflix? Yes, but I watch Netflix on TV. Oh, so you already download the Netflix on TV? Or your TV already has Netflix? My TV already has Netflix. Very good, very good. I understand. And what do you do to lock, uh, what did you do to lock in Netflix on your TV? What do you have to do to lock in the Netflix on your TV? I use official account to lock in the Netflix. Oh, you use the official account to lock in the Netflix. Very good word here. That is the word official. You use the word official. That means, uh, Something, I guess, something is, is there to happen. An official class and an extra class are different. Official class is the class that you need to study every day at school, 
for an extra class, it means you need to pay extra money. Okay, you need to come to the teacher's house. You need to study with the teacher. So that is called an extra class. So here we have two words: official class and extra class. Uh, from Robert speaking, we find two words: official and extra. Robert, how many extra classes do you have these days? How many extra classes do you have these days? Um, I have three extra class. Oh, you have three extra classes. Okay, and、uh, what what days? What days in the what days of the week do you study the three extra classes? Which subjects do you have extra classes, Robert? Um, I. Have on a subject of my school. What? Oh, you have extra classes for all the subjects of、uh, all the subjects of your school. So which days? Which days do you do you、uh, do you have extra classes, just Robert? Which day do you have extra classes? Monday, Tuesday. Oh.、Uh. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Oh, that 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 does sound like every day in a week. Very tired and a busy schedule, but very good for you. Wow. So what about now? Okay, now did you study much, or you just study a little bit from school? Yeah. Okay. Did you study much,、Again. or did you study much, <laughs> or just a little bit from school? Study.、Um, I I usually I usually、uh, I usually uh, I usually. Do you study much, or you just study a little bit from school? Do you study a lot, or you just study a little bit from school? Do you understand the question?、Uh -huh. I don't know. You don't understand. Don't study know. much. Do you know? Do Do you understand the word study much? Yes, I. You, yes. Yeah. So、I、do、understand. so do you study much or just a little bit? Which one? You study much or just a little bit? Study. Study. You study a lot or you just study a little bit from school? Do you do you understand the word, a little bit, a little,、uh, just a little bit? Do you understand the word, a little bit? Do you understand? Uh, um, I do. Uh, I do my, I do、um, my homework about math. No, no. No, no, I, no. I don't, I, I don't、no. ask you about the subjects. I don't ask you about the subject. I ask you, do you study much or just a little bit from school? Do you study much or just a little bit from school? You can answer, I study much. I study a lot from school, or you can answer, I study a little bit from school. So, do you study much or just a little bit from school? I um, I study uh, I study the math uh, a lot, a lot of. What I don't understand. Uh, I study I um,、uh, I study a、uh, math a lot uh of uh now pleasure from school. Very bad. You don't understand. The question here is. Do you study much? Do you study much, or just, or a little bit from school? Here, study much. So, do you study much, or just a little bit from school? You can answer、oh. yes. I study much, 
I study math. It means I study a lot. Or you can say yes, I no. Or you can say no, I study a little. I study a little. So what is your answer? Yes. What is your answer? Yes. Yes, I uh I understand your answers. Uh, <clears throat> oh, your question. Um. Yes, I study much. Uh, I study uh I study a lot. Uh, from school. This is a lot, and this is a lot. Which word do you use? A lot or a block? A lot. Okay. Okay, Doug, okay, Doug, please take. You study English a lot, and uh, how do you feel about your home, uh, your English homework? It's very difficult or, or very easy. How do you feel about your English homework these days? Tim, please. Tim, can you hear me? Okay, Tim is uh cannot uh Tim cannot hear me. So what about uh Joseph? Joseph, can you hear me? Yes. Hello, Joseph. Yes. Okay. So what about Joseph? Joseph, how do you feel about your English homework? Very difficult or very easy? Uh, some homework. Uh, some. Some English homework is difficult and some English homework is easy. Okay, some English homework is very difficult, but some is very but some is very easy, very good. Uh when the when the English homework is difficult, what do you do? What do you do to solve your homework? What do you do to solve the homework? Mm. I will ask my sister. I will, uh, yeah. Do we ask your sister, or, or you you will do what to to complete the homework? What do you do to complete your homework? We can we can we can say that we will search or okay, search for. Search for information online to do the homework, or you will search for or okay, get some ideas online to do the homework. So we have so many ways to do uh to to solve the homework. You can ask people for help, or you can search for ideas on the internet to do the homework. So which way do you usually do, Joseph? I will ask people or uh, I will shut the information on the internet. Very good. You will ask people or you will search for information on, on the inter on the internet. How much how much time did you spend on the on how much time do you spend on searching for ideas on the internet? How much time do you spend on searching for ideas on the internet? Oh, I do five minutes. Okay. Hours. Yeah, for one hour. Yes, very good. Okay, one I understand. From uh, from one to five minutes. From one to five minutes. Okay, after after you search for uh ideas online, what what else do you do? Quiet, Kim Lang. No. I'm not gonna change, yeah. Okay, so Joseph, please, what what do you do? What do you do? What did you do after you search for ideas online? Uh, I I feel why uh, I will find the idea that I I will find information that I need. Yeah. So you you say that you you will find the information that you need. But after you find the information, what what do you do to take notes? You can take notes into your notebook, or you can use the the computer to take notes of your information. So what do you do to take notes? I will use my computer to take notes. 
Uh, you use the computer, the technology, very good. Okay, let's let let's talk with Nam. Okay, so what about you, Nam? What do you what do you usually do when your homework is very difficult? What do you usually、um, do? I um, uh, I um, I usually uh, I usually uh, do、uh, homework to、uh, is sorry sorry I. <laughs> I usually do homework very uh very uh difficult, uh from and um I uh feel uh when I feel uh had uh about uh the the mass and uh the and the history. Okay, so you say that math homework, history homework, are very difficult for you to do. So what、yeah. what do you do when the math homework is very difficult? What do you do? Sit down. Oh,、uh, I um. Yes. So uh, I um. Uh, I uh I I will, I will I will I will seek uh on the, on the inter <clears throat> on the internet about、uh, about mass. You will set oh you will you will search you will don't say set you shock yes search for、oh, you will shock. I will search for ideas on the internet. Talk a bit more, Nazir. Yeah. Sit for one minute. Còn một lần nữa nhé, đi ra ngoài đến nhé, khoan tay lại và vỡ vẩn. Okay, so right here we use the word search for. We don't use the word sit. You sit, and then、yeah. you sit down. You search for, and then that you use the internet to search、you、for、should. the information. Okay, do you understand me? Yes, I、uh, understand. Okay, so oh、uh, yeah, so so what about Robert? Robert. When the homework is too difficult, what do you do? When the homework is too difficult, what do you do? Ask friends for help. Ask cousins for help. Ask teachers for help. Or search for ideas online. I will ask my um. I will ask my teacher to do this. How what you will ask the teacher to to help you not to do this, okay? You will ask the teachers to help you, but、uh, how、uh, how how do you ask your teacher? You ask your teacher on the phone, or you ask your teacher, okay? Or you ask your teacher, okay, in the class. My teacher on my phone on、uh, on my computer. Oh, so you ask the teacher on the phone or on the computer? Do Do you need to do something before you call the teacher? Like, uh, before I call somebody, I need to send them a message. So, do you need to send the teacher a message before you call the teacher? I send um I send a picture of the. Exercise to ask my teacher. Ask. Oh, I understand. You send a picture of the homework of the exercise, and、uh, you send the teacher the the the,、uh, the 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 picture of the exercise, and then you call the teachers to ask for help. Very good. How much time do you spend on the asking the teacher for help, Robert? How much time do you spend on asking the teacher for help? How much time? Um.、Mm-hmm. A few minutes. No, give me a full sentence. You spend time on asking the teacher for help. Give me okay. Give me a full sentence. I spend a few minutes to ask my teacher. Very good. You just spend a few minutes on asking the teachers for help. Very cool. After you ask the teacher, after you ask the teacher for help. What what else do you do? Do you do you use the notebook and pencil to take notes, or do you use the computer to take notes? 
Uh, so so what so what do you do? So so what do you do? So 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 what do you do? So so what do you do? Robert. Um, if my teacher yes yes okay my teacher um yeah um, if yes yeah, so yeah you said that if 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 your teacher what if your teacher what so what do you do what what do you do after you ask the teachers for her. You need to use something to write down. Okay, what what the teachers uh what what the teacher says to you? For example, the teacher shows you the way to do your homework. You need to use a pencil to write down. Okay, or the teacher shows you the way to do your okay to do your exercise. You need to use a computer to write down everything. So what do you do after a teacher shows you the way to do something? Um, I will. Take my note to write the way of my teacher show me to do that okay. exercise. Okay, we, we 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 don't use the word take. We use the word like use. Okay, you will use. You will use. Very good. Oh uh, yeah. Let let's talk with uh, Joseph because Tim. Okay, today he just uh, attends the class for listening. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't have a right. Make for speaking. Let's let's talk with Joseph. Uh, Joseph, what what do you do at home to help your parents? Your parents are very busy working. So what do you do to help your parents? What do you do? Uh, I help them to do their work. Yeah, I know you help them to do their work. But can you be specific? You need to be specific about what you do to help your parents, like uh. You get up early. You go to the port with your parents. You have them to work with the ships, or you have them to work with the fish, or you have them to work with the workers. So, what do you do to help your parents? Uh, I help them uh to do the housework, and when they were they uh they uh, wash. Their car, I will do together. Oh, I understand. When they wash the car, you will you will help them to wash the car. You don't say you will do it together. You should say that I and my parents will do it together. Do it together. Or I and my parents will wash the car together. A and B do something together. Do you understand me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, how long? How long do you spend on washing your car? How much time do you spend on washing your car? How much time? Ten to twenty minutes. Oh no! Give me a full sentence. Don't give me a short sentence. I spend like ten to twenty minutes. Oh, you spend uh from ten to twenty minutes. That is a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after after you spend uh after you spend from ten to twenty minutes on washing your car. What else? What else do you do? Do you need to? Do you need to use a towel to dry the car, or you just or you just leave the car there and go? What do you do? Ah, uh, can you repeat again? Yeah. What do you do after you clean your car? Do you use a towel to dry to dry the car? Dry, D R Y, dry the car. Make the car okay. Make the car, make the car warm, uh, and the car doesn't have water anymore. So, when you say that you dry the car, it means you use a towel to clean the car so that the car doesn't have water anymore. So, what do you do after you clean the car? What do you do after you clean the car? What do you do? After you clean the car, oh, you don't understand the question. Here we have a situation. Okay, clean the car. We have the word like clean the car. Uh, after you clean the car, you dry the car. 
dry, okay? Dry, you make, you dry something. You make something, okay? You make something run out of water. So here, this is the verb in English. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, we had the word like a towel. So, do you dry your car after you clean your car? Yes, I will use a, a towel okay. to dry it. To Very clean good. It. Okay, you will use a towel to dry it. Dry is much better than clean because when you use the word clean, people would think of the word wash. You wash the car, you clean the car. When you wash the car, you use a lot of water to wash the car. You use a lot of water to clean the car. That is it. Very good. And um, let's talk with Robert. If you clean your car, will you take your car to the garage or you will clean your car by yourself? Take the car. Take the car to the garage. Take the car to the garage or clean the car. Clean the car by yourself. What do you do, Robert? I will take the car to the garage. That is not the garage. That is the garage. Okay. Garage. How much? How much do you have to pay for the garage to clean your car? How much do you have to pay for it? Um. Uh. Um. To, uh, Three hundred thousand Vietnam dong or more. Very good, very good. So what about Nam? If you want to clean your car, okay, your parents, your parents clean their car. What, where, where will they go to clean their car, Nam? Where will your parents go to clean their car? Oh, my, my parents clean the car. At the weekends, my parents usually clean the car at or on on them. Uh, okay, your parents clean the car on the weekends. I understand, but where? Where do they clean the car? They will take the car to the garage, to the garage, uh, or they will clean the car by their by themselves. My parents usually clean the car, on, on check the car, the car to the Rara. Your parents take the car to the garage to clean the car. Ha, okay, when your parents take the car to the garage, do you go with them or you stay at home, mom? Do you go with your parents to the garage or you stay at home? My parents uh, we will we will clean the car on take the the car to the Rara and um and I uh, I stay at home uh to wait. Oh, and you stay at home and you stay at home to wait. Very good. How long? How long do you have to wait for the parents to clean the car? Uh, usually. Uh, for 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 the okay. for one hours one hours to uh, to uh, two hours okay from one hour to two hours what do you usually do when when you wait for the parents what do you do when you pay when you wait for them what do you do what do you do when um, you wait for your parents uh when I uh when I uh when I uh, clean the house to uh, wait my parents. Oh, you clean the house to wait for your parents. Very good. Okay, guys. From now on, every Saturday, every Sunday, we need to practice uh English, speak, and grammar. <laughs>